So how does it feel for you to be back here? This is amazing because I used to come here a lot when I was a kid. Do you know anything about a fire happening in this building? I was getting visions of what looked and sounded like a horrific fire where people were trapped. Do you know anything about this? Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you want to, uh, can we walk over here for a second? Or? Sure. Can we move? Yeah, we can move. I just want to show you something. OK. If you read here, the talk talks about in 1916, the parliament buildings burned down. The government moved here while they were rebuilding the parliament buildings, so maybe that's the fire. So that's what I was seeing before. This particular building did not burn, but that parliament building did. So I'm sensing that this had something to do with your experience. I can't promise, but I will find out. Yeah. OK, let, let's retrace your steps here. Right. I was supposed to have slept the night here. Right. And I left, and, and I ran you? up these stairs. I basically ended up playing hide and go seek with these security guards all night, and then eventually found a place to sleep up in a very sort of hidden area. Oh, oh, we definitely have to go, like, make our way up. Um, somebody else is with us. He was with me in the car. This man with the beard. OK. Can't get a good read on this guy. Like, I feel like he's trying to tell me something. Um, now I see him drawing. It looks like it might be a floor plan. He seems to know a lot about this building. I don't know if that pertains to you or this place. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know who this is. There had been rumors about the ghost in this museum. Okay, so just hold that thought. Remember, I don't pay attention to rumors. OK. He keeps saying, go up, go upstairs. Okay. It's been changed. Yeah. Do you know anything about that? Yeah, I, th I think so. Let's go this way. OK. Yeah, this is all new here. This glass. They've changed the building. These stairs, this is new. Something's drawing me over here. Did you go in here? I, I feel in... so drawn in here. I did go in here. I went in every room. I feel very drawn to go in here for okay. some reason. <gasps> oh my god, something went on in this room. Something important took place. Hold on. Let me see what I get. It's a man. He's an important figure. That's all I know. He was uh, having his wake here. Picking up on a name. Will William? W William. W-L. Sir Wilfred Laurier. He was the prime minister. When he passed away, his wake was held in this building because the parliament building's burned down. I'm just trying to put the puzzle pieces together okay. between the fire and what you saw. Hold on. I'm seeing that disfigured man again. He keeps just walking back and forth, wearing this coat. It's like a pea coat. And uh, he, he's like, uh, he's, he's walking upstairs now. You obviously didn't have your experience down here. You had it upstairs somewhere? Yes. That's when I felt like a presence, and I thought I yeah. saw a figure in the dark. He was in an old right. peacoat-type jacket that you mentioned. OK. I really feel that we should go up there. You ready to go up? Yeah, absolutely. So is this, is this where you, you found that hidden spot to fall asleep? Yeah. It's, it's a, probably around here, I believe. I'm looking for the gray squirrel. Here's the squirrel. Here's oh, the squirrel. There he is. So tell me your story. Well, I, I, I came down here. I was basically here in the corner. I was writing an article about the experience, and I just thought it was funny to sleep beside the gray squirrel. 
Because it sounds funnier than saying I slept by the moose. Maybe not, but anyways, Maybe to, me, not. It was, to me it was funny at the time. See, I was, I was here, I, I, I wanted to s get some sleep. I don't want to get weird here. What, I'm going to lie down on the floor. Is that okay? I don't just, know. Just be Tom okay. Green. Okay, so I was, I was lying down like this, right? And I saw this man staring at me. He was in an old peacoat type jacket. And I thought, okay, if I just don't move, then maybe he won't see me here. He looked like a figure in the dark. I felt sheer panic. Yep. And I got up and I basically ran. I ran from the building in the middle of the night like a scared child. And that was it? That was it. You never turned back? Never turned back. And did you get in trouble? Got in a little bit of trouble, yeah. In fact, I was surprised they let us back in here today. I thought it was banned. I just saw something. This is the guy in the peacoat. Hold on a second. He's giving me a name. This guy's name had an A initial. And I'm seeing an L. Uh, so it's either Alfred or Alphonse. That's yeah. who your ghost was. Yeah. His name is Alphonse. I'm trying to see if he worked here. Why he here? Why was he here? I saw the fire again. I just saw him running in the fire, bringing out bodies, and they were like couldn't breathe and. Oh, I get it. Okay. This did not happen in this building. This was the parliament building that he worked in. Okay, I'm getting it now. Hold on a second. The building collapsed on him. Very proud of saving all these lives. He saved a lot of lives, but he said that he died trying. Oh, my God. He went in for one more life, and he said, that was the call I should have not made, but he said, I'd do it all over again. That was at the Parliament buildings? Yes. Yeah. He did work for the Parliament, and he came here when everybody moved, thinking that this is still his job, that this is what he needed to do was to protect the Parliament. Whoa. You're not, you, I don't know if you're even going to believe me, but this guy, Al, the night you came here, he kind of took some sort of interest in you based because you, you were the first person who ever saw him. Uh, you have a little bit of a guardian angel. That's unbelievable. This Al, this Alphonse guy, he's been helping you all along. He's really a good guy. He's all about protection, loyalty. You connected. His job was to help people and he wanted to help you. He's been helping you all along. Holy cow, that's crazy. When I saw this disfigured man, and I kept seeing this man pacing back and forth, he was on duty, he was, he was on a mission. This guy's not bad. 